good, guys. Hope you have been having a great day, morning, evening, night, wherever you are around the world. I hope your day has been off to a great start and your mind is focused on your goals and dreams. Let's dive into this video. Subscribe, like, comment, share, turn on the bell so when I drop one, you'll get it and we can keep on engaging and building a dope connection. Let's tap into this. Woo! You know what? When I was searching for content and I was asking God, okay, I need something that's really talking about what's going on in support of the president. So shout out to Black Conservative 24. This video I stumbled upon and it's, it's so great to have other people that look like you, think like you, or share some of the thoughts and similarities and views and ideals because there's a large number of people that, that look like you that don't. But it is so great to be able to have other people who think and share the same value system, who share the same ideals about policies, who share the same about, you know, family. It's, oh my gosh, it's, it's big. And this right here is for those individuals that need more evidence about Trump and his support for black people. I'm so glad I stumbled upon this. It's a sister up here that's talking. Come on. Black woman delivers powerful speech in support of Trump. When it comes to President Donald Trump, I want to say this because a lot of people accuse this man of being a racist. And I just want to say that I met President Donald Trump working on criminal justice reform. I too was one of the ones that said, no, I don't want to go talk to that man. I don't know him. He he hates black people. Well, that's what they said. And that's still one of the biggest gripes and propagandas of African-American people, black people in America, is that. Because I saw a lot of the comments in my comment section on that video about this. So let's take it for, and see, this is a, this is a sorry hall effect when a person hasn't met him. If you haven't met the man and you have not been down there in his presence, and cannot provide a single instance or encounter where you have had to say you have been around him in a situation to make that evaluation for yourself. And so they said, well, Angela, he's working on criminal justice reform. You have a story. Many of you may or may not know that I served time in a Georgia state prison. And while I was serving time in that prison, I was pregnant. And when it was time for me to deliver my baby, I was transported to a hospital here in Georgia by a police officer and I was chained to a bed and I was forced to give birth to my baby with a sheriff watching for a nonviolent crime. Also separated from my family for a nonviolent crime. But you know the Democrats said we only supposed to fight for the family separation at the border. They forgot all about the family separation in the border. They oh, okay. you heard that. They forgot all about the family separation in the border. They want Trump to apologize for the CP5, but they ain't demanded that Joe Biden apologize for the 94 crime bill. But that's something else. I had a story. They told me that this man was a racist, but I had a story. And I knew that if I could use my story to convince this man that there was a need to reform our criminal justice system, then I would do that. I wasn't gonna be worried about emotions. I wasn't gonna be worried about the media. I wasn't going to worry about the naysayers. I was gonna go in with my story and see if I could make a difference. Okay, all of that and then some. That's just absolutely real. Pushing the emotions to the side, even though this is what she heard, let me just go and tap in and see for myself let me go because I have a story and things need to change and I'm the one that I, she's the, she felt she was being petitioned to do this. I love it. Taking action and not allowing your preconceived judgment notions of false information to guide you. Let's go, sis. This is what I'm talking about. See, we can, I can talk to these kind of people. I found myself sitting in front of President Trump in the Oval Office and I shared my story. This is the man that they told me was a racist. I don't know. I'm scared to death. Is he going to hang me? I don't know. Is he going to call the KKK the way that the media has betrayed it? I'm in a danger zone. Just so happened that he heard my story. Not only did he pass the First Step Act, but he also made it illegal for them to chain women to the bed during their childbirth. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, how inhumane is that? How cruel is that? At least for the sake of the childbirth. 
take the chains off. Come on now. Oh my gosh. And he looks like he is just so proud and she is just like, thank you. I mean, oh my gosh. I'm over here getting full about to start crying. This is just like, wow. <laughs> This white man that they told me was a racist. They told me he hated black people. So not only did he just sign one of the most historic forms of criminal justice reform legislation to ever hit this nation, overturning the 94 crime bill that massively incarcerated black America, freeing nearly 20,000 people to this day. The First Step Act. I sat in the Oval Office with a lot of criminal justice reform advocates. I saw Kim Kardashian on the front page taking her pictures. I saw Alice Johnson. I saw Louis, uh, Louis Reed. I saw Van Jones. I saw Jessica Jackson. Okay, man, that is so big. When I read that as being one of the things that was that he enacted, because if you go back and look at the video that what has Trump done for black people, that's where, of course, I was talking about some of the comments, and I've seen them in other videos, but... I um, did not know the details specifics. So that even uh, in, uh, in regards to her case specifically, the overall view is what I got. But this brings it even to more fine tuned focus. I just, ooh, thank you, Lord, for me being able to think and do my own research. Louis, uh, Louis Reed, I saw Van Jones. I saw Jessica Jackson. I saw, uh, what's her name, Vivica Fox. I saw Isaiah Washington, but I don't see any of them here today. And the lieutenant goes, if we call this going on, come on. She says she don't see him here today. See any of them here today. A lot of people want to take a lot of credit for being criminal justice reform experts, criminal justice reform advocates, but to tell the truth, you didn't free nobody. Trump did. Kardashian had the nerve to put up a tweet to say free Gunna. Gunna is a YSL rapper tied to the Young Thug case charged with Rico. The same DA, the same charges. You put up a tweet and say free a known gangster in Atlanta, Georgia, but you won't put up a tweet and say free President Trump. Well, that is factual. That is factual. <laughs> And the only reason you getting any credit for freeing anybody is because President Donald J. Trump signed the papers. As a criminal justice reform advocate, somebody that's grateful to President Donald Trump for giving me a second chance, giving me an opportunity to run for Congress by clearing my record. Somebody who was completely oblivious to the corruption that happens in Atlanta, Georgia. I just wanted to do something for my community. I refuse to be silent. Not only will I stand for Atlanta, Georgia, not only will I stand for America, not only will I stand for the babies being aborted in the womb, not only will I stand for the mothers that choose life, I'm also gonna stand with President Donald Trump. Mic drop, mic drop. That's all I needed to hear. Okay, well, I, her name was Angela. I, I am so grateful that I found this video. And I know we, we'll still have some non-thinkers low vibrating people in the comments section but please remember to keep your comments clean and positive or you will be blocked from this channel but i'm gonna snap on you first okay because i just can't deal with the foolery and the ignorance i don't care what you say you better get out here and wake up and use your brain use your head for more than something called a hat rack <laughs> my mama used to say that y'all oh lord my mama used to say that she would say please use your head for more than something like a hat rack okay anyway i digress this was so good. This was so good. This was so good. It makes me feel even greater when it comes to seeing content like this. Someone who was actually a part of the system who wanted to make a change and took a chance, took a leap of faith, took a chance to say, wait a minute, I'm going to think out. Let me just see what's going to happen if I try and had no idea. And I bet the vibes were cool. I bet the vibes were cool. I bet the vibes were cool let's go all right guys enjoy your day 
morning, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Keep staying focused on the true goal, which is being the best version of yourself every day. I appreciate all of your support and keep coming back to be challenged and encouraged to think for yourself, step outside of your comfort zone and do the homework. Love you guys.